We thought that we would be banging on endlessly about Sakir Starmer, his speech at the Labour Party conference. Is it just setting out his stall because he wants to be the next Prime Minister? Is it offering any solution to the cost of living crisis? That's what we thought we were going to be talking about. That was until it was revealed that the Labour MP for Ealing and Central Acton, Rupa Huck, uh, called Kwasi Kwarteng, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, superficially black. If you're just joining us now and you're thinking, what? He is black, isn't he? The answer is yeah. His family are of Nigerian origin. Yes, he is a black man. No question about that at all. So how can he be superficially black? What does that mean? I'll tell you exactly what she said so you get it completely right and you can make your mind up for yourself. Superficially, she said he is a black man. He went to Eton, I think. He went to a very expensive prep school all the way through the top schools in the country. If you hear him on the Today programme, you wouldn't know he is black. Well, she's been suspended from the Labour Party. She's had a whip taken off her. I wonder if you can explain why, if you understand. Let me have one quick cough. There it goes. You didn't have to hear that, though, because there's an excellent button I can push so you don't have to hear it. Let me also have a sip of a drink. Hang on. Mmm. OK, now I've done that, I've coughed, I've had a drink, now we can really get into it. So let's do so with Nels Abbey, the writer and political commentator. Nels, hello. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. And I'm very pleased to have you on the programme. But this um, this, this, this speech by, by Rupert Huck to me is absolutely flabbergasting, really. I am astounded that she would have said this and also absolutely horrified. I'd like you, if you wouldn't mind, for starters, first to give me your reaction, but then I want you to explain why. Why you feel the way you do. So, A, how do you feel? B, why? How do I feel? Mm -hmm. I am entirely indifferent. I don't think it was the smartest thing in the world for her to say. I don't think Rupert Huck is a Klansman or anything else like that. I don't think the intention was, I don't think she intended racial intent and she doesn't have any history of that whatsoever. I think the intention appeared for the sound of it to be humor or edge um and she was making an observation about the gentleman about quasi parting um the point that she was trying to make was that he probably his life experiences are more reflective of say a boris johnson's or a david cameron's than they would be say of a nels abbey's um and i think she said it in a ridiculously clumsy manner but overarchingly i think once again the conservative party is playing racial chess whereas Labour's playing racial checkers and Labour have been checkmated once again. I mean, what you said is delightful. It's a terrific phrase. I could embroider it on a T-shirt, but what do you mean by that? One's playing racial chess and one's <laughs> making racial... So, I mean, I compliment you on the felicity of the phrase, but what yeah. do you mean? I mean, OK, we can we can play delightful and elegant word games here, but quite frankly, you said that she's trying to be humorous. You said she has no um, background in making racist remarks. Her family of Bangladeshi origin, whether that's relevant or not, doesn't really matter. They just are. It's another fact, along yeah. with Kwasi Karteng being a black guy, which he is, no question. Yeah. So, so, obviously one of the things that I had imagined might really annoy, upset, frustrate, inflame you is the notion that you have to qualify to be black, that there are kind of qualifiers and you can be either more black or less black or more sort of resoundingly and wholeheartedly and, you know, convincingly black or less convincingly black. And there are these markers and hurdles that you've got to hit to be extra black and others, if you don't, that you're kind of less black, that kind of thing. Because the phrase superficially black, I'm taking to mean he looks black on the outside, but his inside is not or his soul, his experience or whatever it is. And I would have thought that the thing that would really, really, and I can think of so many rude words I can't use on the radio or the television, but would really absolutely beep you about this, would be the notion that, you know, some people are excluded from blackness because of what's happened to them in life, and others are more definitely included, and those who are included are those who are less well-educated with less money. And I would have thought that's, that's a pretty crude way of compartmentalizing and a whole ethnicity of so many different kinds of people on one hand yes on one hand yeah you are correct um quasi quarteng um is of course a black man there's no doubting or denying that even what she said about 
you couldn't tell he was a black man if you heard him speak on Radio 4? Mm -hmm. The answer is, I could. The answer is, of course I can. Um, I can tell because I'm pretty skilled at telling these things. But the key fish issue about this is this, is that Kwasi himself has a very, very long track record of um, ensuring that he doesn't get involved in black issues unless it is actually pursuant to the benefit of the Conservative Party. So Case what do you mean, that, for example, what do you think he's not that, participating I mean, in? He, those are his own words, that from 2000, I believe it was 2016 or so, he said it, that he, it's not his business to get involved with issues that might be of interest to, say, the black community. Mm -hmm. And that's a position that he chose to take. But it's a position that he regularly contradicts when he has to actually get involved in these issues pursuant to the interest of the of the credibility of the government he's serving or the Conservative Party. Case in point, the Rwanda plan, he never took a position against it. Well, case in point, Windrush, um, the Windrush scandal. Kwasi Kwarteng was the man that the Conservative Party rolled out to be their spokesperson and to help them bat it away. But to, in interest of Kwasi, in fairness Kwasi Kwarteng, when the government was rolling out the, um, the vaccine, Kwasi Kwarteng did actually appear in the adverts encouraging black and ethnic minority people to take the vaccine, whereas some of his colleagues did not okay. so so but but in recent times i have uh, in recent times i have pointed out on as far as the culture war stuff is concerned quasi quarting has stepped away from that mm -hmm. he doesn't he does so i think that today he's probably praising god that rupa has said what she said about him because it's taken the spotlights away from the absolute mess he's made of the uk economy right now and you and i and i'm assuming you paid off your mortgage but myself or so i'm going to be saddled with very well, very you high must interest not rate. make assumptions about me just as i must <laughs> not make assumptions about you and if you come Indeed. on talk tv and you say you assume i've paid off my mortgage i then have to <laughs> wonder don't i why is that is it because you think i'm of a certain age in which case you must never a judge a woman's age and I can take deep offence at that? Is it because of my ethnicity? You think I'm Jewish and therefore dot 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 I've no idea what you may think about Jewish people. Is it because no. of that? Whatever the reason that you may think that I've paid off my mortgage, you and I both know that that's a very probably, I don't want to state these things on, on paper, but inaccurate. I wish I had. And B... <laughs> Totally inappropriate for you to make those sorts of assumptions well, about. I we both know that, don't we? Why do you should think? Should I tell you why, why? I make assumption? Because that bracelet on your arm looks so expensive to the point where I think to myself that there's no way you would actually buy that before paying off your mortgage. Eight, pounds. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Well, I'm a bad judge eight of jewelry. Eight pounds. You're not good at jewelry. You're not good at <laughs> eight pounds. It costs. It's I'm pretty though, isn't judge. it? Very, I'm a, very I'm a pretty. Bad judge of jewelry, or I need to go to the optician, or you're very good at buying cheap jewelry, and I'm but bad. But you see how we can fall the into these, you know, these pitfalls await us, don't they? The moment of we start making do. assumptions about other people based on what, you know, the way they look, the way they speak, the of way course. they talk, you know, who knows? I've no idea what kind of a school you think I went to. You may think it was, you know, I was, I was at uh, Cheltenham Ladies College. I may tell you it wasn't at all. It was a London Day School. It was a direct mm -hmm. grant school. My dad used to take some the cash that he got in the market, petticoat and you know pay for it in greasy once as you know you don't you've got no idea and i've got no idea really about you but what i i suppose i'm saying is isn't that the whole point of this that i'm not supposed to conclude anything about you at all from what is superficial which is the color of your skin it's not whether you're a black man or not but it's only a superficial characteristic of you it doesn't define you or denote what you are what you think how you vote what you wear or anything else about you and 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 therefore i suppose when you say quasi quarteng doesn't represent he doesn't reflect he doesn't get involved in the ideas the concerns the cultural preoccupations of what you described as the black community if yeah. i had said it the other way to you and i'd said to you nels something something the black community i'd feel completely um justifiably uh challenged if you responded vanessa what black community you know there are people from all over the world with all different thoughts and feelings some like a certain kind of music some like a certain kind of food some vote conservative you know some some are very nice to their mothers some completely ignore their mothers there's no such thing as a cohesive black community i thought you might say to me no, I think that I think that it's again it's a, it's an interesting argument, but look, there are communities within it. Mm -hmm. There are communities within the black community, and then you've got aggregates, as in ov overarching communal interest or so. When things that pose a potential threat to the actual state, to the standing of, of black people in this country or the black communities, I call it or so, it's a legitimate thing. It's a real thing, and we coalesce around those things sometimes, and we and sometimes sometimes we're united on some things, and sometimes we divide on other things. But there is quite clearly a thing as as the black community, and there's also 
of things as the black communities and there's also black people and they have they all have actual interests of their own they all have in, um, uniting interests and dividing interests that's just the way it goes yes um that's the way it goes but in terms of actual quasi parting quasi parting in this situation over here has laid his bed are you with me he's made his positions very very clear i don't think rupert should have said it i think rupert was trying to be edgy i think she's trying to be funny and i think she came across as clumsy i think the labor party has overreacted in this situation over here and i think they've now distracted from um from their leaders um, from their leaders potential pre-prime ministerial speech mm -hmm. To focusing on what is essentially a very, very petty issue. So, Nels, just, just checking, you yeah. don't think that it was the right thing for Sir Keir Starmer to suspend Rupert Huck? No, I don't. Thank you very I much. Think it, I think it was a massive overacting. Okay, um, great talking to you. Thank you very much, Nels Abbey. They're the writer and political commentator.